Let's take a look at the Windocs 2.0 with integrated SQL Server cloning and web interface. Windocs is an independent port of Docker's open source to Windows and runs wherever Windows servers are supported, either on-premise or public cloud, and supports all editions of SQL Server 2008 onwards. SQL Server clones are based on full or differential backups and deliver terabyte class environments in just 30 seconds. Windocs was released in early 2016 and is popular for SQL Server development and test. Teams use production data in containers on a shared server, with environments delivered in seconds and far fewer VMs used. The result is higher productivity, lower costs, and dramatically improved software quality. SQL Server clones are created by restoring a full or differential backup to a Windows virtual disk. The VHD becomes a full byte copy of the environment, supporting the creation of differencing disks, which are the writable clones used by developers. Clones are delivered with a SQL Server containers, but can also be used with conventional SQL Server instances. I've already built a uh, image using a 100 gigabyte expanded AdventureWorks database, which I've named Clone. A single click provisions a fresh environment with a SQL Server container. It takes just 30 seconds to complete, and the time required for a terabyte class clone is no different than a 100 gigabyte environment we're creating here. I'll start the container now, and once it's started, uh, we'll note its port, and we'll access it just as we would a normal SQL Server instance. So there it is, and I'll use the uh, SQL Server Management Studio to access this now. The performance of a cloned environment is uh, really well uh, good for development and test. And you can see the database is accessible and writable uh, just as, it, as if it were uh, a full byte copy held in the local instance. Now what I want to do is I want to create a updated image and for that I'm going to update the clone with a differential backup of the AdventureWorks uh, database. So I'll use the setup cloning diff command. I have the differential backup on my local host and I'll run a data masking script as we create the image. Now I have the Docker file as a simple text-based configuration file that we use. I'll save that and now we'll use the file selector tool in the web UI to select the Docker file and that uh, data masking script. So we'll so highlight both of those, right click and select. And then we'll give the image a name and uh, submit this uh, build. I'll call it clone2. And Docker images are case sensitive. Now this will take uh, some time because we're restoring a fairly large uh, database, but we'll be back when the image is ready. And the image is ready now. Uh, clone 2 is available, so I can uh, simply create a fresh environment from that. Now in this case, rather than using the provisioned SQL Server container, I'm going to demonstrate how we can use the cloned uh, files with a conventional SQL Server instance. You can see the uh, environment has been delivered and we expose the full path to the uh, cloned database files. So what I'll do now is I'll open up a uh, default SQL Server instance that I have instead of using the container instance and uh, we'll simply attach uh, to those uh, clone files. Now this can be done uh, over the network as well. Uh, so this really allows Windocs to be to be a uh, general purpose SQL Server cloning tool. And it's as simple as that. Uh, so both containers and conventional SQL Server instances can use the Windocs cloned database environments. So SQL Server is really the simplest and most affordable tool for delivery of SQL Server environments for dev and test. Now, Windocs also supports multi-tier environments with .NET, Java, and other open source tools. 
and he can deliver large and complex data environments in seconds, simplifying team operations. There is a free community edition available, and solutions for organizations start at just $99 a month. Uh, we will soon be releasing a, the first Jenkins-based, uh, container-based pipeline solution for .NET and SQL Server continuous integration. Uh, visit us at windocs.com.